If you've ever sent someone out on an errand and wonder what's taking them so long, with a VIA Mobile 360 D700 AI dash cam, you can determine which route they took, if they encountered some heavy traffic or other issues affecting the speed of service. Plus, it can be installed on old or new vehicles, so you can make the most of your current investment. Whether you're looking for collision avoidance or data tracking features for a small business with a few vehicles, or even live tracking a whole fleet, we have the solution for you. Today, we'll show you a system with flexibility and advanced AI features, which is easy to install and scalable to match your needs. Hello, I'm Rick Novleski, your host today. Thanks for joining us. Today, we'll talk about how we can easily upgrade any vehicle with the VIA Mobile 360 D700 AI dash cam. In addition to keeping track of drivers' routes and stats about vehicle usage, it also offers AI features like a lane departure warning and a driver monitoring system to increase driving safety and much more. The D700 helps you to stay on the road, avoid accidents, and connects easily with fleet management cloud services. We'll check out what's included here in a second. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest news and products. Let's have a look at this and see what it can do. The exterior is equipped with a 1080p Sony IMX307 CMOS sensor, along with a light sensor. The light sensor dynamically adjusts the four infrared LEDs on the other side around the interior 1080p camera. And both cameras can adjust left and right by 10 degrees and go down vertically up to 30 degrees to get the coverage you need. Beside the three LED indicators, the short record two-way call button has dual functionality. With a short press, it will record videos from both cameras 10 seconds before the press and 20 seconds after, as well as take snapshots from both cameras at the time of the press. If you hold the two-way call button for three seconds, it will create an alert message. Able to perform in freezing cold or scorching summer days, the brain of the unit is a Cortex A53 dual-core SoC with 512 megs of DDR3 RAM, 256 megs of SBI flash memory, and a three-axis G sensor. This allows the VIA Mobile 360 D700 AI dash cam to simultaneously analyze and capture HD video of both the road conditions ahead and the driver and occupants in the vehicle. Finally, the left side has a speaker for output, and the right side has a micro SIM slot and micro SD card slot supporting up to 512 gigabytes. There's micro USB 2.0 and the power connector slot and a cover plate to keep the cards in. A microphone is located on the bottom of the unit. The D700 supports automatic recording to micro SD after startup, and this can be played back in the VIA Mobile 360 app. Connectivity is provided with 4G cellular and GPS, accepting a 9 to 36 volt input for use also in commercial and industrial vehicles. With Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on board, it has CAN bus integration, so statistics like RPM, road speed, and fuel consumption can be analyzed to see which vehicles have issues or if your employees are driving safely. We've talked about some functionality, but what can this box do? Driving down the road, the AI-powered lane departure warning keeps the drivers in their lane, and the dual-stage forward collision warning gives a too-close message then a close proximity alarm to get fast reactions from drivers getting near to dangers on the road ahead. The interior camera has AI features too. Its driver monitoring system alerts if it senses the driver is fatigued, using a mobile phone, smoking, or otherwise being distracted while driving. This will promote good driving habits, and also the interior recordings will provide some safety, especially for taxi and ride hailing services. Hi Richard, how are you doing today? Great, thanks. Yourself? Great, thank you very much. So we have the D700 here. Yes. And uh, please tell us uh, a little bit about um, how this came to be, like why this was developed. Um, for many years we were focusing on the uh, embedded market. And in the embedded market, one of the big growth areas was fleet management. We're talking about five, ten years ago now. But then more and more we saw a demand for camera-based devices. Right. And so this is our first camera-based uh, system that, that we developed. And uh, what we're seeing is that in traditional telematics market, it's like a black box where you, you track, for example, the location of a vehicle, but there's no video component. All right, and so think, that uh, it'll give you the positioning, yes. but doesn't give you any other data about what's, what's happening around exactly. the vehicle. And right. you had a lot of small discrete devices or, 
all kind of operating kind of together, but not really. So one of the goals with the D700 was to bring all these different components together with this GPS, whether it's um, the cameras, and then also to add in new features, primarily around video and the AR. Right, because the, the video on this actually allows you to see if there's an accident, what exactly the conditions were, or yeah. what they're yes. doing yes. Uh, inside the vehicle. Yeah, so with the AI, we're focused on two areas. One, as you mentioned, is the accident prevention. So we have lane departure war warning, and um, then we also have forward collision warning. And I think, you know, a lot of new cars now have these uh, so-called ADAS features integrated, so they're getting more and more popular. The other side of it is the um, DMS, the driver monitoring system. So what this does, it, tracks distraction right and i think one of the challenges now is that uh you know, people have smartphones or if you're on a long long journey you're gonna you know, maybe get a little bit tired you might be gonna get a little bit bored you're gonna switch off a little bit right because um, with the current shipments that are happening in the market you have all these packages and obviously they have to get shipped from uh, warehouse a to warehouse b yes. and of course that can lead up to very long days yes so having the driver being monitored for signs of fatigue is especially important as well yes so basically we support um, distraction also fatigue and then other behaviors such as smoking, for example, or right. smartphone usage. I think it's very important though, is that although we use the word driver monitoring system, this is more to help the driver stay safer, drive more effectively, rather than just a, a reporting system that's sent back to head office with alerts going. We, we don't actually include that as part of it. It's more the cameras there in the vehicle with the driver, and then when the driver gets a little bit tired or whatever, and these reminder the dms will provide that great so it's actually helpful and uh, yeah. uh human friendly yes exactly <laughs> exactly beyond that i think the second key trend that's happened in the market in the last few years has been cloud and cloud makes a lot of things possible that were never feasible before if there is for example an incident where perhaps a near miss it can actually be recorded on the video and alerts can be sent immediately to to the cloud um, for the fleet management center to uh, to respond Right, so they can see yeah. what happened or yes. uh, implement new procedures to yes. uh, protect drivers or train them better. Yes. And no. this this unit also has an interesting feature where it has a, a button where you can record in case of there's a, an issue around the vehicle. That is correct, yes. So it's a, a two-way audio feature as well that, that can be added in. You know, the driver hasn't got the phone in his hand, so it, they can use that instead. So Richard, uh, who is this actually aimed at? The, the customer or the end user? Basically, we, we design this for commercial fleet operators. So that can be any, anything from, say, a ride-sharing company or a taxi company through to a, a, a trucking company. Oh, okay. So like uh, if you're a ride-sharing company and you had customers in your vehicle, this could also protect the driver yes. as well. Oh, okay. Exactly. So I think there are a lot of different applications. Um, I think primarily is, uh, we, we say commercial market, we think right now, if you look, the consumer dash cam market is still very much low cost and a lot of the cloud and these kind of features that we have on this device, are not really attractive to that market yet at this stage. I think we're still in the early stages of the development of the market and um, more and more now people are beginning to understand the value of video. Right, and this is a scalable as well, right? Yes, and we see, we see it's very scalable. Um, across sort of multiple vertical segments. So we're talking about ride sharing, we're talking about uh, commercial delivery vehicles yes. and even like long haul. Absolutely, vehicles. yes. And what we've recently announced is a new product called the M800, and that's for larger vehicles. I think this is very good for a passenger size vehicle or, or for example, um, a delivery van. But when you're talking about a bus, or right. when you're talking about maybe an HGV, a heavy goods vehicle, then you need a sort of different kind of implementation where you have a system plus independent cameras. Right, because you have that much more area yes. to cover. Yes. Okay. So I think, uh, you know, long term, we're going to continue to uh, develop new products, um, both in this form factor for the dash cam and also for, for, for larger style vehicles. Um, obviously, with more performance and um, you'll see... Uh, more and more AI will get integrated as we start to learn much more about what the requirements are in the market. With a fairly quick install time, it comes with a suction mount for testing and temporary installs and an adhesive tape mounting bracket for permanent installation. All necessary vehicle wiring is included too, along with canvas wiring, an OBD2 connector, and a 12 volt DC power adapter to transfer data directly to a PC or for software development. Great for fleet operations too, like last mile delivery, long distance trucking, logistics services or law enforcement, 
and a free 30-day demo of the Via Fleet Cloud Management Portal is available to evaluate the features. These include real-time tracking, collision alerts with video upload, trip history, and even more fleet management functions. For integration, a comprehensive suite of Via Fleet SDK, EVK, and BSP packages makes deployment easy and connects with all leading commercial cloud platforms. And the Via Fleet AWS Cloud and Via Fleet Cloud Management Portal help to integrate to AWS apps and services quicker. So if you want enhanced safety alerts and detailed metrics for your vehicles, need to keep tabs on a new hire, or need to manage fleet operations better with trip histories, the VIA Mobile 360 D700 AI Dash Cam has you covered. For more details on specs and installation, along with a look at VIA fleet software, please visit us at viatech.com, where we offer transportation, industrial, and smart city solutions. And if you have further questions about which one is right for you, email us and we'll point you in the right direction. If we gave you some good ideas or useful info, please do hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe to VIA Technologies for our latest news, guides, and products. Thanks for joining us today and stay tuned for more new videos. Bye for now.